Hey, what is up? What is going on, everybody? Joe here, Radio 690 ADV. I know it's been almost a month. I do apologize, but I don't apologize. I got things going on. I have a life. I try to keep my YouTube channel going, uh, the Facebook stuff, and all those things. So uh, time gets away. I have a family. I have things that are going on. I run my own business. And uh, so the rest is kind of history, but we're back. We're going to get this stuff going again, and I apologize, but uh, but things happen, and the world's going to hell in a handbasket, but uh, it's slowly recovering. So I appreciate you for listening in, and don't forget, go check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 690ADV. Uh, we got tons of videos. we got all that stuff out there from new writers to uh, experienced writers, all that type of stuff. We've got really, really cool stuff for you to uh, get your information on bike, gear, all that type of stuff. And that's kind of what the podcast today is going to be about. We're going to talk about listening to other people. We did a two-minute tip on that. Uh, I think it was like two weeks ago, but um, in Facebook and all that type of stuff and forums and all that. But we'll get into it here in just a minute. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out to a uh, Facebook channel that's really cool and it's growing like crazy. Uh, I'm part of it. I think it's really cool. A lot of really nice guys on there. You can learn a lot of stuff. Um, it's not bloated. It's not a bunch of, you know, um, just people trying to, you know, be better than the next guy. But uh, Dual Sport Global on Facebook. Just look it up. Check it out. If you want to be part of it, go ahead and, you know, uh, uh, do a request to try to be part of it and uh, the guys over there Jeff and uh, uh, Vance those two guys they're really super cool dudes and uh, uh, be part of the group of that because it's really cool dual sport global on Facebook also I'd like to give one more quick shout out to KTM North Texas uh, Bert Todd those guys over there super fantastic if you guys need any gear uh, stuff for your KTMs not just KTM but any other motorcycle that's out there they're also the Sherco dealer of north texas and uh, they'll take care of you but they can get parts for <laughs> any make model whatever you're needing uh just check them out uh give them a uh, give them a shout out for whatever tell them 690 adv sent you and they'll give you a discount uh, on your stuff and uh but yeah you can find them at slmracing.com slmracing.com you can check out what bikes they have for sale they have new used and uh, all the gear you can think of, they ship nationwide. They'll take care of you. Also, don't forget about um, our affiliate links, too. They do help the channel. They help the uh, podcasting. Uh, we don't really make that much money on any of this stuff, but every little bit counts. You know, if we were to add it all up, everybody thinks we're just rolling in dough, making money, doing all this stuff. But uh, the, the real truth of it is uh, we make somewhere between 25 and 35 cents uh, an hour actual hour time spending working on this stuff so it's not very much but you know in a month's time you know if we could make 25 dollars um it's really cool because it it definitely helps offset some of the costing that we have from sd cards to maybe upgrading cameras and stuff like that so it's really really awesome and also if you'd like to be a sponsor of the channel don't forget we have a patreon as well uh patreon.com slash 690adv man any little bit that you really really helps we have great sponsors that are out there and thank you to all patreons that are out there that help the channel even in this hard time right now we thank you so very much so anyway on to the topic and subject at hand <laughs> be careful who you listen to and the stuff that you get out there there's so much that is out there that is uh it's hard to to, to sift through it because especially if you're a new writer or you're a street guy coming into dual sport and you're wanting to, you know, try to find the right information. Well, God, there's so many places that you can go and search. The first thing you can do is just go to Google and just type in dual sport info or dual sport motorcycles or dual sport, whatever you want to do or adventure ADV, whatever you want to call it. It really doesn't matter. It's out there and there's literally tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of different articles, different, you know, forum write-ups, all that type stuff. And then you start getting into the Facebook or I like to call it the fake book side. Now, Facebook has its place. There's, there's, there's places to go to, and I'm not going to favor one over another. Um, there's, there's good places that are out there <clears throat> that you can get uh, pretty decent information and pretty good stuff. But there's a lot of as I like to call it, 
um, fluff and filler, which basically means um, people trying to, you know, promote and, and push and give their side of what they feel is the best, just based off of just finding a Google, <laughs> you know, there's, there's no, there's no credible backend to it. So when I say be careful out there, what I mean is just, you know, spend a little time. I mean, because in the true reality, I've said it a million times. If you, if you follow me on YouTube, uh, if you see some of my write-ups and stuff like that, or anything like that, I always say research is king. And the reason research is king is because um, you really honestly should do your own research uh, because it, it, the more that you dig in, the more you can feel comfortable about it. Now, here's the thing with other people, other writers, other from forums to Facebook, all these type of things. I'm sure I'm going to upset somebody. And at the end of the day, I really I truly honestly don't care. Uh, this is this isn't a popularity contest. This is just something for, you know, the generalized public of uh, dual sport and adventure writers, you know, and you should already know this, <laughs> you know, uh, but there's a lot of guys out there that are, you know, they're the best. It, it doesn't matter what you do. You can go anywhere. You can get on Facebook or whatever. You can go to a forum. You can make a comment saying, hey, um, I'm looking at this tire. We're just going to use a tire, for instance. And you'll put a tire down, you'll for every, uh, for, for the tire that you put down, you're going to get probably one or two guys that'll say, Hey, that's probably a pretty good tire. And then you're going to get those guys, uh, that are going to basically make their post and they're going to go, uh, if you don't get this tire, uh, you're crazy and you don't know what you're doing. This is the best tire ever. And then I'll have some people go, Oh, I would never say that, but it's true. I've seen it. I can't count how many times. Uh, their opinion is the best opinion that's out there. Here's the, the here's the kicker for for and it's not just tires. I'm talking gear all across the uh, all across the board. I've used I can't count how many tires on my motorcycle, and I'll get people that will basically use the tire that I've used that I've found many 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 months to almost a year longer than they even knew it existed, and they'll they'll try it out and they'll say it's the best tire. All right. Well, here's the deal. It doesn't necessarily make it that it's the, you know, the best tire out there. It's just, it's a good tire. I'm one for trying multiple things. So, you know, some tires that people are say is garbage. I'll use one for instance, is the, uh, the Kenda, um, the big block, uh, <laughs> people don't realize because they don't do research and they don't really know is that the Kenda big block is when they first came out with it was really kind of a not very good tire. I'll be honest with you. It was not a very good tire, but I'm not going to say it was a, it was a horrible tire because it really depends on what you truly were going to use that tire for on the, on the asphalt. It would just, it, you would eat it up really, 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 really fast. Well, the compound was a softer compound and it really was probably built better for, off-road use more than anything. And it was a 50, 50 tire. It really kind of resembled the TKC 80, but it, you know, it, it was just a little too soft. So, I mean, we put them on our V Stroms and we drove across country on them. And I, I, I don't even think we got, I, I don't even think we got 1500 miles out of it, you know, but at the time it's a Kenda. Kenda's not known for being expensive. They're inexpensive tires. So, but the other kicker is, is I gave them another shot on my KTM 690. I ordered the newer compound. They actually had two different compounds. The newer compound, I, I just switched them out because I just put on a new Tusk, um, the adventure tire they just came out with, the, the DS Sport or whatever they call it. I don't have any info on it yet. Don't know. Don't ask. Don't tell me because I can't. I won't be able to give you anything credible or real. So um, you can ask, but I'm just going to sit there and say uh, I've only got about 50 miles on it. So um, we right before the virus hit, we swapped our tires out, me and a buddy of mine, Tom, and we were getting ready to uh, hit the bag bend for about uh, about seven to eight days. And they shut everything down. So long story short, <laughs> we both have brand new tires on our bikes and we're not going anywhere. But the tire I took off was that tire, the Kenda, and 
it just be honest with you, it's got over 2,000 miles and it's got 50% tire life on it. And I do most of it with rant and riding and I've done some off-roading with it. More street than dirt. And that's really the true test of a tire is the street side of it because the asphalt and the concrete is what eats it up. Off-road tires can last a really, really long time unless you're an MX racer. And I already know everybody's an MX racer. They can tabletop. They can, you know, all that. There's so many, <laughs> there's so many guys that just don't live in reality. But back to the tire itself, if you do your own research is what I'm getting to, um, you would know that there's two different compounds for that tire. So I, I would say it wasn't a great tire in the beginning for, but I, I don't think we used it what it was truly meant to be made for. Um, and then to the newer compound, uh, it, it's pretty fantastic tire and it's cheap. It's, it's, it's a cheap tire. So Basically, the topic is, is, you know, do your own research and be careful with Facebook, because what happens is with Facebook is you get so many people out there that are just so biased to their own stuff. Um, or not only that, they're uh, posting, you know, stuff up there for you to say, and, hey, man, I found a great deal. This is a great tire or this is a great, you know, jacket or this is a great pair of boots or anything like that. Um, basically, what I am trying to get at is make sure that person you know that person enough to be able to believe in them and make sure they own that piece of gear or, or equipment or <laughs> whatever it is, you know, because, um, you know, money is money and it's hard earned and it's hard enough to make a dollar these days instead of just wasting $10 here or a hundred dollars there or, or, you know, or even, I don't even care if it's a buck, you know, it, it, Money is money. You know, I work very, very hard. I have very little time, you know, so I try to spend as much time as I can with my wife and with my kids and do the things like that because I do own my own company. I am very busy all the time. Um, you can ask, you know, you, if you guys know Jeff Morrison over on Facebook and his YouTube channel, uh, East Texas ADB, he'll tell you, man, he's like, that guy's going, his hair is on fire half the time. So, but what little time that I can devote to my YouTube and Facebook and those things like that and, and the podcasting and stuff, you know, I really, really do. I don't lie to people. I don't have time to lie to people, you know, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just not in my nature. So moral to the story is, is, is do your own research and be very careful and make sure no matter what you do, or if you're going to go spend your money, if you're just, just, you know, just got more money than, than you care to, to do. Hey, 690adb at gmail.com just paypal that on over there to me i sure would appreciate i'll take as much money as you want to give me if you just want to just throw it in the in the trash but um to me it's 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 about knowing if gear's good or not good and being truly honest about it and not being biased i'm not going to sit there and talk about a piece of gear if it's it may be a piece of gear that i think is awful maybe great for another guy but at least you can give the the, the positives and the, the negatives uh, of what you found with the piece of gear because you actually physically own it so that you can pass it on to the next guy or the next writer. And you may help somebody from making a $5 mistake all the way to a $600 mistake. And I've got some videos coming up. Uh, our gear segment is fixed to kick off. It was literally, we were just in the process of trying to get it put together <laughs> right before the virus started. And we've been kind of locked down. So I haven't had a chance to really make those videos yet, but they are coming. I have tons of gear. I mean, I really do. I've got some gear that I truly believe in and I got some gear that I kind of believe in and I got some gear. I wish I could get my money back, <laughs> but, and a lot of it, I have a lot of gear. I probably have almost as much or more gear than anybody that I know. Um, and it's good. You know, it's, it's, it, it's, it's most of it's name brand. It's name brand and name brand does not necessarily mean that it's better. Okay. That it doesn't mean that it, that it's better. So, um, and then you can take my videos with a grain of salt, but I'm not going to sit there and bash a product and I'm not going to sit there and say, Hey, you know what? It's super cheap. So just give it a shot for yourself. My thing is, is I'm going to give you the positives and the negatives of what I found about it. And it doesn't even matter. I've got some gear that I won't ever go on a trip with it. And it's still, I've got a problem with it. I've got a problem with it. <laughs> there's always, there's always that little issue that's out there. So, 
you know, but, but it's for you to dig through. You do your own research. And like I said, these are podcasts. So this is just sitting back, listening and hearing the stuff like that. But it's to give you, um, to push you hopefully in the right direction. And I'm not telling you that I'm the, the end all be all of information and, and, you know, you need to just go to 690 ADV. Here's the deal. I get tons of emails. I get, uh, Facebook stuff all the time. I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything. I want to know the things that I can truly absorb and give the credible information back to the people or to other writers. And, uh, and if I don't know, man, I lean on my buddies. I've got a lot of them. I have a ton of buddies that are out there that I lean on. They rank all the way up from Nebraska all the way. And you know who you are and uh, all the way to East Texas, all the way to Utah, to Arizona, New Mexico. And these guys have been riding a really long time and you'd never, ever know. They don't talk about themselves and they're all I've seen videos. I've seen their riders. These guys could ride and guys that are really, really good at what they do. They don't talk about, they don't talk about themselves. So and they're not biased about their stuff either. They don't sit there and say, oh, this is the best hire. Oh, this is this. This is this. They'll say, hey, I had really good luck with this. You might want to give it a try. If not, try another time. Whatever you want to do. I'm just telling you it worked for me. And that's the kind of guys that these guys are. And that's basically how I am. <laughs> I don't sit there and say I've been riding for 45 years. I don't sit there and say that I've been, you know, everybody throws in how many years they've been out there. And then that all of a sudden just makes them. Uh, a professional or it makes them an expert in what it is. It doesn't matter how many years you've been doing something that makes you good <laughs> because you could do 10 years of anything and you're still just okay at what it is. So you understand that take the year ranges and throw that in the trash. Cause that means nothing. I don't care how long you've been riding. It means absolutely nothing to me. And just understand that most people are going to be biased about everything. So gear parts, man, I, just anything, please do your research. And I'm not telling you to sit there and email me, do whatever you want to do, but Facebook be very, very careful forums. Be very, very careful, especially if you are a new writer and you're getting, trying to get into the sport or something like that. You're going to get diet guys that'll <laughs> tell you this is the bike that you want. And this is the tent that you want. And this is the uh, racks that you want. And this is the panniers that you want. And these are the tires that you want. And this is the GPS that you want. And this is the jacket that you want. And, it, and, and the list goes on and on and on. You go ask 10 guys, you'll probably get 10 different answers. Don't tell them what you're looking for. Say, hey, I'm looking for a recommendation for the best jacket out there. And you know what jacket they're going to give you? The jacket that they bought. <laughs> that's what they're going to give you. They're going to give you the jacket that they bought. And that's okay because at least they own that piece of equipment. But the other thing is, is it's not the jacket that they bought. Why do you like that jacket so much? What makes it so good? Is it because it has, you know, sleeve vents, shoulder vents, neck vents, back vents, it has back end pockets. It has side pockets. It has front pockets. It has nine pockets on the inside. It has a cell phone pocket. It has an iPad pocket. I mean, I'm just telling you what makes it so good. Why do you love it so much? How much did it cost? Because I have a $250 helmet, which I, it was a total luck. You've seen it on my YouTube videos. It's my Scorpion, my AT950. And I have a KTM version Araya helmet. The difference between those is almost $500. And which helmet do you see in my videos? There you go. <laughs> End of discussion. Why? I'm not going to go into it because I've got a whole helmet thing that I'm going to do as far as gears go. But there should tell you right there. Do your own research. There's a reason why you never see that Araya helmet. It's awesome. It's great. It's kick butt. It's an X4. Um, it's an XD4 it's it's it it checks pretty much all the boxes but why do you never see it in my video why why would i wear a, a 500 hundred dollar cheaper helmet why 
do your own research. That's what this is all about. Anyway, hey, I'm Joe, Radio 690 ADV. Don't forget, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 690 ADV. We sure would appreciate it. Don't forget, hit subscribe if you're there. Give us a thumbs up and click that bell so that you're notified about everything. Also, tell all your friends about us. Don't forget, uh, Dual Sport Global on uh, Facebook. It's a re- it's up and coming. It's really cool, and it's kind of a no frills type of deal. Um, it's not about promoting. It's not about, and it's everything that's on there, and it's global, literally global. Everybody from all over the world is, is basically slowly starting to trickle into there, and it's everything from motorcycles to gear to boots to to, to panniers, whatever. And you can write anything you want, and there is no bashing. We don't have any of that type of stuff. And, uh, it's all about just being fun, enjoying what it is, because that's what dual sports all about. It's about adventure time. It's about finding things, getting out, enjoying the rest of your life because you're on this planet for a very short period of time. Don't forget that. (laughs) Don't be a dick. That's basically what it's all about. So anyway, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Uh, enjoy the week. Get out, find your adventure. I'm Joe radio 690 ADB out.